Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the 22nd of July and today I'm covering Apple uh, which I covered last um, on the 3rd of June. This is a follow-up and we're at a very interesting juncture with this share and uh, let me just review what I said last June. I identified this all-time high at $233 back in August as my final fifth wave of a five-wave pattern from its inception and the move down was very sharp down below the um, well, around about the uh, 140 area here but notice the pattern the wave pattern in this wave I've got wave one, I've got two, a long and strong wave three, a little bump in wave four, and a very sharp final wave five. So that's a five wave impulsive pattern, and that qualifies it either as uh, a, a first wave, wave one, or an A. And I've, I've actually chosen um, to, to label it as an A wave of what should be an ABC. I may need to change that later, but nevertheless, that's a good first uh, attempt. And the rally off of that is a wave B, and B waves are normally in threes, but I can't really see a very clear three-wave pattern here. Um, but just remember, as in real life, Elliott waves are not always perfect, so we must make allowances for... Uh, some of these variations. But anyway, we had a nice rally up to this level here. And when I picked it up on the 3rd of June, we were moving lower off that, um, off that high. And I forecast that the market would move, continue to move down to the 170 area and then bounce to the 190 to 195 area. Well, I got my first part of that absolutely spot on. The low was 170.50, which arrived on the 4th of June. And then the huge uh, recovery up to the, uh, the high on Friday of $208. So that's a little bit beyond uh, my target, but that's okay. That makes us more money when we're trading long. So I have no complaints about that. But anyway, um, what, I, what I've noticed on this rally is that the momentum is, is getting weaker. And that is usually a sign of an impending reversal. And that's what I believe is going to be happening here. I've got a, a lovely tra a trend line drawn off that high, the wave 5 high, the wave B high, continue it along, and sure enough, it inter intersects the... Um, uh, the high of last Friday. So that is strong resistance. And it looks like, based upon just a few hours of trading, uh, where the market just popped down to 202, um, that looks like um, the end of the line for the rally. So my forecast is for uh, this is wave one, that's wave two of C. I'm looking for a sharp move down in wave three of purple C. And the other reason I'm bearish on Apple is that uh, if you look at the weekly chart, I can't show it here, but it shows a key reversal last week where the market made a new high and the close on Friday was below the previous Friday's close. That's what we call a key reversal and that often uh, appears at trend reversals. So my bottom line is quite simple. I'm expecting a sharp move lower and I'm using the high of $208 as my stop, as my failsafe. 